Well guys, welcome back to another scrap and Irish video. And what have I got today to scrap out? Well, as you've seen by the thumbnail, I have a PlayStation 3. So again, people to be asking, are they worth scrapping out? Is there much gold recovery material inside? So why not scrap one out and let's run through it and see what there is actually inside of these that um, can be got for gold recovery, maybe some aluminium, copper, stuff like that. So it's not just all about the gold recovery, but that's what I'm mainly looking for. But again, if there's some copper there or there's some um, aluminium, we'll make use of it and we'll add it to the collection. So why not? Let's go and get straight into this. Again, this is a non-working uh, PS3. If it was working, I may try and sell it or keep it for use, but it's non-working and I'm not going to the expense of trying to get it fixed up for a PlayStation 3. So I'm gonna scrap it out and you'll get to see what's inside. If you've never scrapped out a PS3, you'll be able to see what's inside. So let's get to it, it won't scrap itself. Okay, so we're ready to scrap it out and get a look inside and see what's in there. So there's clips along here, which I have already just released temporary. So hopefully the rest in can come off. Here we go, bit of noise. So we then lift off the front cover and we can see we have screws. So I'm gonna just get my screwdriver and we'll start screwing out. This was outside in the wet, so that's why we have some water so i'm not expecting god knows what would get crawling out of here can't be any worse than some of the laptops that um or not laptops the p the pc that um shark scrapper scrapped out in his last video and uh, well depends when you're watching this it mightn't be his last video but in one of his videos where he scrapped it out you will see he had a uh, mouse's nests and stuff in them so anyhow um let me get the screwdrivers okay screwdriver at the ready ready to go so um you all know how to take out screws, you don't need me to talk you through taking out screws. Anywhere you see a screw, I'm going to be taking it out. So let's speed this up. You don't need to be watching four or five minutes of me taking out screws. We can speed it up a bit. Okay, so you got to see me take the top screws out and I also took out the screw from here which usually has the hard drive. So let's have a look and see if we're in luck and do we have a hard drive in here. And no luck. So no hard drive. Boom, boom, boom. So as you can see, we have no hard drive. Hard drive is out of it. So that's one less thing that I can get out of it. So let's get the camera angle changed again. and. Um, Take off the top cover and start working our way down through the um, rest of the PS3. Okay, now that I've taken all the screws, we should be able to just remove the top cover. Just as simple as that. Um, so what have we got here? A little bit of plastic, a little bit of shred steel there. And that's it. So again, fairly worthless. What have we got inside? Well, we have more screws, so you know what that means. It means more speeding up time, so let's get to it. Okay, so we removed the screws, so we should be able to get this hopefully off now. I'll remove some stuff from it. So, even though we removed the screw here, still it doesn't seem to want to give. That screw is removed. Yeah, so oh, there we go, that's better. Just have some cables 
holding it in place, we remove them and we have of course do we have yes we have a hidden screw down under here which needs to be removed so we we'll just take him off So there's one hidden and that's him so we leave him aside for a minute. Uh, might as well remove off the I presume it is the CD-ROM, it is. Um, so we have him removed off as well. And now we're down to the heat sinks above the boards, stuff like that. So I may need to get a bigger screwdriver for them. Yeah, so we'll just get a bigger screwdriver for that. Okay, so Again, anywhere I see screws, we'll take them out. So this is just the above where the processors are on the, the PS3. So we'll remove them and then we'll take off the outer thing and we should have some nice clean piece of aluminium. Just Or it could be shred, we can check that with a magnet anyhow. So we've loosened those out. We'll check to see if they're steel or, or steel or aluminium in a while. We've got a magnet and just double check to see whether they're aluminium feel like steel. So I'm going to think they're steel. And then we just have some outer screws here. And this should give us some access to the board. We can have a look at this board and see what we'll be taking off for a gold recovery in the future. Uh, again, the board I'll just leave as it is for the moment, and then we'll be and then breaking down some boards when I want to get the chips and stuff. And I'm doing a pile of them together. Uh, that's what I usually do. I'll just leave all the boards again. If you can sell your boards to board sort, it's an easier way of doing it. But unfortunately, I can't. And the price I'm getting for boards is no better than shred price, so I'm not going to give the boards away. No way am I going to do that. That'd be foolish. Right, and do we have any more screws anywhere? Don't see any, so hopefully we can get this to come away. There we go. Again, it feels like shred, so more than likely that's what it is. Now, we'll see if we can liberate the board from the steel. Okay, so we'll just throw the steel aside. Feels like steel, get a magnet, I'll check that. Again, you have your fan there and with nice chunks of aluminium heat sinks here so we'll get them out in a few minutes I'll take off the, the plastic covering and I'll be able to get them out so let's put that aside for a moment because you don't need to be doing that and we'll run through the board which is the more important bit so what have we got let me zoom out a little bit okay you can see here we've got our chips that I'll be taking off the board for the gold recovery because again Hopefully they'll have the gold bond wires in it and again, there's no way of knowing 100% if they have gold bond wires or not It's just previous ones I would have done would have had gold bond wires in them. So I presume they will have them again um, So that's what I'll be taking off there again all the little IC chips. I'll take all them off MLCC's again uh, PS3 I'm hoping that they will still they'd have the um, little silver hopefully silver um, silver content in them and uh, maybe some palladium platinum metals on the other side of the board we have the main processors of the uh, PS3 um, we also have a gold corner BGA which we all know has the gold bond wires in them again we'll be taking off these IC chips um, again more of like the RAM type chip um, 
what else can I see there that we'll be getting off? We have here, if you look here, you can see that's gold flashed. So again, we'll be taking that off. We'll be removing the battery, getting the little gold contacts underneath there. Um, and that's kind of it on this side of the board. It's mainly just the chips um, that I'll be looking at. Again, is there anything there, guys? We have your email CCs, of course. Um, I think in a previous comment, someone told me on a previous board I'd missed some transistors that had gold in them as well. But um, there up here again is a... Uh, let me try if I can zoom in on that so you can get an actual good look at that. There we go. So if you look there, that's gold flash. So anyone know what they actually are? And um, if you do, please tell me in the comments. Let me point it out again. So this actual item here, what is that? And um, has anyone processed a lot of them? And what's the gold return if they have? Uh, we'll have a connector in here, which will have gold flashed connections in it. So mainly the chips is what I'm looking for off this board. And um, we've got any of the little gold um, connectors. So even they're a little gold flashed. Um, you have a little bit of brass here. Um, looks like it's gold flashed so again you can see where the it changes from color to the other so again that looks like it's gold flashed so that can be put in and remove the gold very thin layer of gold um, and again the board itself will have gold flashing on certain spots of the board so um that's what we get from there now I'll also get as I said the aluminium from the heat sinks which I'm not going to bother scrapping out in this video because I'm just going to break them out of the plastic um, or just take off the little screws here on the corners actually and that probably release this whole front cover off and then I can get the two chunks of aluminium so that's what we'll be putting with all Ryan Master aluminium again if you can get money for your uh, fan motors break off the fins and get a little motor uh, some people, some places might buy them at complete fan they give you a price on that other places they just want the motor price so that's what you'll get and um, again I'll check these out with a magnet actually i'll do that now and we'll know okay so i have my magnet here and it's shred as you can see there it sticks to it shred so make sure that shred over there and i'm presuming these are shred as well yeah so again steel just throw it over there and um, so again we have a few uh, cd rom here that I will break down in a further video again to show what gold recovery materials on the boards in the CD-ROM. So that'll be an upcoming video where I'll take apart a CD-ROM and you'll be able to see what uh, gold material you can get in here. Uh, this is the power board. So we might as well, while we're at it, take apart the power board because this is where you'll get your copper and uh, little transformers and stuff like that. So again, it's something that you don't want to neglect again with the price of copper at the moment and um, it's not a bad price it's not as high as i think it should be but it's still worth taking off the um the transformers or the power blocks or anything that has the copper content in it and see what your scrapyard will give you for that so don't neglect just because you're after the gold recovery material don't forget about these other extra items that can be worth taking off as well and um I used to always take everything off, break it down, but because um, I was more into the gold recovery, but I was throwing away money, guys. That's what happens if you don't take everything off, you're giving away money. So let's see if we've opened that enough. There we go. So again, here's our power board. And as you can see, we have little copper toroids. There, there, there. We also have a copper... Um, motors more copper that can be sold as motors or broken down um, and the aluminium so again that is aluminium let me get my magnet wherever I threw it and prove that to you guys so here's the magnet and it doesn't stick so we have aluminium there so we take them off put that into our aluminium um, I remove uh, you know, I even remove them chips even though I'm not 100% sure if they've got gold bomb wires or not in them I remove them um, and again when I'm processing I just throw in you can see more copper in here a little bit of copper wire in there a little bit of copper wire here 
So um, that's what you get. And again, these could be um, gold flashed because that's where those little gold flashed pins were going into it. So again, they could be gold flashed. So I'll take them out and I'll treat them when I'm treating uh, low grade pins or something like that. And again, you possibly, in this, this looks like a relay. So that means it should be silver in there if it's a relay. So um, that's kind of it guys for the video. As always, appreciate you giving up your time to watch it. Appreciate you sharing it out maybe, like and comment. Um, if you're not a subscriber, why not subscribe? Why not um, hit that button? It's there, it's free to hit. Um, up to yourself, no one has to subscribe. I appreciate anyone that takes the time to watch the video. And um, that's what you get from these. And again, I'll be breaking these boards down further for the chips and stuff and uh, eventually um, grinding down or incinerating them chips, grinding them down and going through all that process at some stage. At the moment, I have a lot of them to do and it's just to get the time to do them. So as always, thanks for watching. And till the next one, stay safe and uh, keep on looking for that gold and hit the thumbs up. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.